opening of season 9, rumors that John Wick would appear in-game ran wild. The House of Calamity, east of Paradise Palms, was replaced with the modern home of the legendary movie character, John Wick. Other hints from Fortnite supplied these claims with evidence. What's up everybody, and welcome back to another Double Pump video. If you're new here, make sure to double pump that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that like button and that bell icon so that you never miss another one of our Fortnite videos. The Tactical Assault Rifle, Fortnite's newest gun, was announced with the description, This robust and precise assault rifle is perfect for tight quarters. Robust and precise are the words John Wick uses in a quote from one of the movies. Data miners and leakers confirmed John Wick's appearance by discovering files for a Wick's Bounty event, as well as a skin. On Thursday this week, Wick's Bounty was open for all Fortniters, including a whole set of challenges, a skin in the item shop, and several items which can be unlocked by participating in the Wick's Bounty event. If you reach Tier 100 in the Season 3 Battle Pass, you may notice the resemblance between the legendary The Reaper skin and the John Wick skin. Obviously, the Reaper was designed after John Wick, but the two skins are two separate items. Owners of the Reaper have expressed complaints that a nearly identical twin of their legendary skin will now be a common sight. Many think that Fortnite should not have added a skin to the item shop that so closely resembles one of the most coveted skins in Fortnite from seasons past. Despite all of the controversy, the John Wick skin remains a very well-designed skin. Dressed in a black suit, the skin comes with an extra style which can be unlocked. The unlockable style is nearly the same as the regular John Wick skin, except it also has bruises on the face, rips in the clothing, and his usual slicked back hair is rumpled from a fight. Included with the John Wick skin is the Assassin Pack back bling. In the item shop, the simple sledge and the Assassin wrap, purchasable with V-Bucks. Also part of the John Wick set are the be seeing you and bulletproof emotes. The Wix Bounty game mode is only available in squads, in which you can battle it out with up to three other players. Players first entering the mode will notice immediately a unique loading screen. Upon spawning in the lobby, all players are equipped with the John Wick skin, although the transformation does not affect the head of your selected skin. If you are using a female skin, your character will be transformed into the Rook skin, the Peely skin is unaffected and will not change into a John Wick skin. When you enter the game, all players are granted with Fortnite's two most recent guns, a tactical assault rifle and a combat shotgun. One of the Wick's bounty challenges include using these guns, which we will get into later. Players entering the Continental Hotel in Neo Tilted will also notice that they are unable to equip or shoot weapons. The pickaxe is automatically equipped. This is a reference to the movie rule, no business while on the hotel grounds. So, if you are running low, you may wish to escape to the hotel to make a getaway from your enemies. The Wix Bounty Mode has multiple challenges as a part of the event. All players have unlocked the challenges even if they do not own the battle pass. When completed, the challenges award the player an item or experience. We mentioned two challenges already, and they are some of the easiest to finish. Both of the challenges are to deal 500 damage with either the Tactical Assault Rifle or the Combat Shotgun. Finishing one of these challenges awards 500 experience. The next challenge is more difficult. Collect 20 gold tokens in a single match. Because each player is awarded 4 tokens on each respawn, this challenge means a maximum of 5 players in one game. If your kill is someone who has already eliminated others, you collect those tokens as well. That means that if you can take out someone with multiple kills, you will receive his four tokens, plus the tokens of the players he eliminated. In the end game, killing one of the top players can automatically fill this challenge for you. Completing this challenge awards you 500 experience points. The next challenge will likely take you multiple games to complete. Collect 120 gold tokens. Again, eliminating other players in the final stages of the game can complete this challenge easier. Finishing this challenge also awards 500 experience points. These four challenges are the ones that award experience points. Combined with the points you earn in-game for eliminations and placement, several levels can be achieved if you are still low level. The next challenge awards a much more interesting item, the Boogeyman Wrap. This all-black wrap encases your weapons and vehicles with a stealthy darkness. To earn it, you only have to play five matches of Wick's Bounty. Easy. 
it probably will take an average player at least five rounds to complete the challenges. So, this is the easiest challenge of all to do with no effort. And now for the challenge with the reward which many people wanted most. The One Shot Umbrella. If you have not won a game in Season 9, this is your opportunity to win two umbrellas at once. Which is only possible if you have not yet won a game in Season 9. If you are brand new to Fortnite, it is possible to earn three umbrellas with a win in the Wix Bounty. Your first Victory Royale earns you the Umbrella. A win in Season 9 earns you the Holographic Umbrella, and winning a game of Wix Bounty will award you the Pure Black One-Shot Umbrella. To unlock the One-Shot Umbrella, you need to complete the most difficult challenge of all, win a game of Wix Bounty Mode. We will detail how to easily win if you keep watching this video. Finishing any five of the Wix Bounty Challenges will also award you the Gold Token Back Bling. Complete your challenges and you will earn a Great Back Bling, which will be a rare item when the event closes, because it, as well as the other rewards, are only earnable during the Wix Bounty Mode that lasts only five days. The John Wick gameplay is pretty simple. As we said earlier, each player in the squad is spawned with four gold tokens. If you eliminate an enemy, their coins will be added to your tokens. In order to win the game, your squad must collect 500 gold tokens. There is one catch. Each player only has three respawns. If you have one of the top three coin totals in your possession, your location will be clearly marked on the map, and your squad will be targeted by other teams. Because of this factor, there is a level of strategy involved in the game mode, which is non-existent in regular squad games. Follow our three steps to win your game of Wix Bounty. Step 1. To have a good chance at winning the mode, land near to the edge of the map to collect better loot than the rare blue combat shotgun and tactical assault rifle. Normal guns beside the shotgun and tactical assault rifle exist in the game, so choose guns which you are familiar with and can use best to eliminate enemies. Make sure you also stock up on small shield potions and regular shield potions, as well as other healing materials. In the end game, having a way to gain health and shield is vital to retain your gold tokens. If you see a campfire, make sure you pick it up as well. Campfires are a great way to give health to your whole squad, while you can be scouting for enemies or sniping within a structure. Step 2. Stay with your squad. Because there are three respawns, Wix bounty squads tend to spread out more than a usual squad, especially during attacks when one player dies and can escape. Make sure you stick close to your teammates so that you can easily conquer stray players and rack up your points. Sticking with the squad makes your chances of being finally eliminated smaller because a squad member can revive you after the smoke clears from the battle. Especially during the end game, if your entire squad can team up on the one or two players left in an enemy squad that owns a lot of gold tokens, keeping close to your squad can result in great results for your team. So, even if your teammates drop away from your marker off the battle bus, land with them to increase your chances of winning. Step 3. Be practical in the way you play. The top three players in the game are constantly on the map and therefore being targeted the most. That means you probably do not want to be that person. Not until you win the game, at least. To have the best chances of winning, keep near the edge of the storm and only attack squads who push you. Using a sniper can help you avoid unwanted attention from all sides. When the top team is nearing the 500 gold token mark, start pushing the top players. Your whole squad should have good loot from landing away from the action, and if disaster strikes, you should have several respawns left. With the advantage of waiting until the end game to strike the top players, you can more easily eliminate them. This is because the top teams usually have squad members who are finally eliminated with no respawns left, simply because their squad was targeted the most. The remaining players will be distracted trying to defend themselves from the middle of the circle. But if your squad sneaks up from the edge, you can quickly eliminate one or two players who may hold the majority of the tokens in the game. Slipstreams are also a great way to get out of the gunfire if your squad is being attacked by a great team or by several different groups. If you follow these three steps that we discussed, you can win the Wix Bounty Mode easily. Don't let the new gameplay confuse you. Strategize, play wisely, and win. Stay up to date on the most recent Fortnite events, leaks, and news. Like this video and double pump that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon as well, so that you can be notified anytime we release more great Fortnite content. That's all we've got for this video, guys. 
good luck, and happy hunting.